And when I think about, okay, if what advice would I give that guy that was completely out of his element? Well, I would say be mentally prepared for that. Good morning. I think the kids have been playing. Ah, la, 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 la. Oof, Mario said. Good morning. I think the kids have been playing with my camera. So the settings are, it's like, I noticed it's been grainy. There's construction, I think the next few weeks outside of our house. So it's, it's a little unpleasant, but. But it'll all be worth it. Our roads are gonna look much cleaner and nicer after all this chaos is done. Hi, Hi Boogie! Did you have fun? Yeah. Hey, but mommy. What's up? I bought a by Hope Nan. Mom, mom, we can borrow a right to mama. We can borrow, I mean, I mean, mama, that's so much. I hope we can, now my next one. Okay. Come here, let me fix your hair. I need a pee. Oh, go, 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 pee pee. Okay, can you please close the door? Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, mom. <laughs> I think I just need to lock the door because she's coming in every five minutes. I want to stay home because dad had a, a scheduled pickup. He's sending over a box to the Philippines so he could have his belongings and he doesn't have to lug it. Um, at the airport. So the pickup window is so big. It's from 10 to 3. You know how it is. Konnichiwa. Girls already ate adobo. Papa's adobo. And it is bomb. Got extra liquid in there today because I added some more water. And dribble it right onto the surface of the egg on both of them. So that egg yolk soaks it all up and put it all over the rice. Somebody's being a little <laughs> suspicious over here. What are you doing? <laughs> You're mushing it up right now. <laughs> so much better today. Wow. He finally picked up that bottle of fire boss. Mommy? Huh? Oh, cookie? Um, yeah. Okay. You make un cookies with Auntie Mel? Did the girls help you, Mel? Bella did. Wow. And Leah yeah. technically had a Laffy Taffy already. Yeah. After one oh, yeah, she said what? after natural oh, half. Oh, mom, mommy? Yes. No, yes, Tom? Yeah. No. No, thanks. Oh, cookie. Okay, then can you get off so I could eat now? Sit over here. So, mommy so can you eat. can have your cookie. Thank you. <coughs> Did not find things, so we chose white chocolate instead. <coughs> oh, next best thing. I mean, same thing, right? They just put <laughs> food coloring. One's pink and one's My leg. Cover your mouth. I concentrated this bowl. I boiled it down. So it was almost like a syrup. Mm -hmm. But then the key is you slice the egg in half mm -hmm. and then you chop up all the meat and then put the sabao on. There we go. So that the egg yolk soaks up the sabao and the sabao gets into the inside of the meat. So on top of the fact that your dad marinated all the meat mm -hmm. and I cooked down the sabao, and the fact that there was literally less than one scoop of rice in your bowl, mm -hmm. there was a lot of sabao inside your food. Right. Are we out no, of rice over right too? Well, I made some for the girls too. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's just like, you know, when you add an extra adult. That was five cups. To the house. It's like, it's such a drastic Not just any difference. adult. Oh. Papa. A Filipino. <laughs> yeah, because rice, rice is. <laughs> rice is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, um, yeah, I just. I need to make rice right now, actually. So he has bottled. What are you giggling over? I told you to turn that off. Yeah. 
You want to walk? Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. Hey, where are you going? No, this way, this way. Hey, this way, girl. What are you looking for? The monsters? This is what she's talking about. He said if you press that button right there. Yeah. Press that harder. You want to do it again? You're not scared? Yeah. Wow. Well, wait. We got to wait. Kind of scary, girl. Whoa. Okay. Let's go buy some food. We got to get food. You going to walk or are you going to stay in the cart? Okay. No, my turn? Yeah. Okay. Here. There you go. I press it. It's the same sound. Say bye-bye. She says blow it a lot. Say bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hot, hot. You're just too cute, you know that? Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. Is it good? This pork lumpia. We bought this before. Yeah. Definitely get it. Okay, don't touch it. Good thing I wiped your hand before you touched that. Ella, which one do you want? Do you want princess or do you want Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Spider-Man! That's my girl. Oh, wait, wait, what? You change your mind? Princess? Okay, well, that's still a good buy. I mean, I it's no. Princess Jasmine. I'll buy it. Okay, are you snap snapping? Buy okay, that. final choice Spider Man. All right, or as we I like to. No. Are I'll you? Buy it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you don't get to switch. Okay, you don't get to switch. No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> We're getting Spider Man now, okay? No, no. I think that was your first no, choice. No, no, <gasps> yes. no. Yes. Okay, are you messing with me? Princess Jasmine. I see, no, I always buy a one. No. <laughs> Why do you keep no. on changing? No. This is legit. I'm assuming Judy wants this yeah, for the I girls' lunch. It it's not spicy, it's Parmesan garlic. This is a chicken in here. That's legit. This is Campbell's brand. Look at that. Oh. They're not even gonna need dinner anymore. Oh, try this carrot. No, that. Okay, yeah, but try the carrot first. See, that's good for you right there. You like the chicken, huh? Still so hot. <clears throat> One more chicken. One more chicken? Yeah. Okay, chew what's in your mouth first. Take a drink of water too. Ah, uh, don't spit it out. Gotta swallow it. The girls are really into broccoli, which is amazing. Judy said I need to get a lot of watermelons. She wants three packs of these, so we're gonna get whatever looks good. These two look good. I mean, this is kind of a lot, honey. I don't know if we need more than this. I guess if she insists, I'll get a third one. Ran out of onions, so we gotta pick up a bag of these. Okay. Oh, nativity. That's a first. Get off the floor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, we gotta go. This looks like it's gonna be a lot of money. I just met a viewer as I was walking out. I've been meeting a lot more viewers here at this Costco specifically. Uh, but this was a lady who says she's been watching us since 2012 and just moved here from Hawaii. 
her husband's stationed here because she, they're in the military. And it's interesting because I thanked her and her family for their service. And she said, oh no, it's my husband that does everything. And I know because crazy enough, uh, me and Judy actually got to speak to uh, President Biden when he was getting elected the first time in 2020. And we told him that both of our families were military families. And he thanked us for our service. And I remember having that exact same reaction. Like, oh no, it was our dad's, right? I would never want to take any of the, the honor from them, uh, both Papa as well as my father, and their 20 plus years of service, just like this viewer just said. But, um, you know, I know the sacrifice. And I know that you have to give your all, especially wives or spouses, because whoever is in the military oftentimes has to get deployed. You have to move around. You don't talk to them for a long time. And even though, of course, props and all honor to our servicemen and women who actually do the duty, but the spouses and the families have to make a huge sacrifice too so um, I won't name you just you know out of respect for your privacy but uh, honored to meet you thank you always love it uh, she was a little nervous to take a picture or ask for a picture we love meeting our viewers especially if you're an OG viewer from 2012 um, almost the condo days and thank you for your commitment and service to this country and supporting our military and of course for anybody that's in the navy the marines coast guard air force am i missing anything this like navy army air force marines coast guard i think i cover them all anybody in our military thank you for your service be prepared swat yeah swat is coming down Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hi, my pizza. Oh, here, you, you left it. Come back up here. Okay, you keep it in here, okay? Alright. Okay, mommy. Okay, bye. Fight them bad guys. I think it's time to clean our oven. I'm baking these broccoli bites that Mel made years ago and they were so good. Boil broccoli, mince it, and then you add panko, cheese, I added parmesan, egg, salt, garlic powder, and that's it. And you mix it, put it in a baking sheet, and they're just like these perfect bites. I made a lot so that we can freeze them. Wow. All the kids yeah. came down because you could smell. I feel it like, isn't it supposed more. to? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna broil it a little bit. And you have to sprinkle it on top to make it. Yeah. Sprinkle, yeah. Some, um, sprinkle what? Mm. Sprinkle some too. Here, let's just. Yeah. There's lots of parm in there. Let me broil it. You know what? I think I made these bits really big too. One moment, baby. I used a cookie scooper. I think. The ne next batch I make are going to be a little smaller so it could be crispier. You're friends on Nickelodeon? I know, it's like when I was a kid, it was black and white movies or black and white shows on Nickelodeon like I Love Lucy. Now it's Friends. Where do you get at me watching Friends? Hi, Dad. At night, it's Okay, tomorrow I'll be cooking uh, pinola. Wow! And this then, is a cabbage uh, soup. My version of uh, Ascaldo. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ascaldo and Tinola. So, We're what do you like that. to use? Do you want to use papaya? Traditional Filipino is yeah. papaya. Use what you would use. Okay, so. Okay, wait. Tinola. Oh, yeah, open it. And then I also use some. Uh, put some. Uh, I think, I think that's good. That's good. Use a little bit of patis. 
or I'll put a little bit of this tomato. Um, no, tomato. to make it colored. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so you this is the burning. tomato chicken powder. Okay. It's not melting oh, yeah. though. Crease hold. But it's too hot. Oh, look how I like that it's like actually intact. What do you mean? Like it's not falling apart. Oh, yeah, that's the best part. Because mm -mm -mm. the cheese holds it together. Yeah. And the egg. You know what you should do is cover it in a bowl or something so the cheese on top would melt. Oh, I mean, I guess eventually it will yeah. melt. It is pretty And it's hot. fine. It's just for pretty. You know what? You don't have to put it on the very edge because there's so much room. That is really good. Is it? Really? Mm -hmm. It tastes better than empty milk. Mmm. Look at the cheesy bottom. I mean, it tastes like similar. But last time you just added too much cheese. I put too much cheese? No, Kira, Kira. Really? Oh. No, I did not think that. The cheesy bottom. Is there really such thing as too much cheese? No. Is that, I don't want to try that. I thought you guys finished that dough already. Wow. Mm. Oh, right here. Uh, no, I got this. I had little sardine cheese. Oh, mm. that's right. A food processor would have made it way more smooth. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the ads. Where's your dad? Dad, you can change the thing. Yeah, mom, where's daddy? I was just, huh? He's giving the little the bath. Oh. You know what I can do before I bake it? Put a little hole in the middle and put a piece of cheddar cheese inside so you get a, like a cheese pull. Yeah, just do it for half of them. Okay. You don't like cheddar cheese? No. It's very rude. As I'm editing the vlogs this week, I notice more and more that a lot of the stuff is just food. Why is it just food? And then I realize why. We eat, and there's a lot of people here, so there's always action going on in the kitchen. We're always cooking food, especially now that Dad's here. We do a lot of shopping for food, but also it's like the the one thing that's controlled. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because, by the way, these watermelons at Costco, the mini ones, I love them so much. It's so easy to peel or to cut the grinds. Look how thin it is. When we cut it like this, it's like, wow. Because I've been buying the big ones thinking that these ones weren't good because at one point the Costco watermelons it was not happening food is like the one consistent control thing in the house especially when the big kids are down here we're talking about stuff you know school or you know whatever is going on and I don't always feel comfortable having the camera on anymore food food all day I love watermelon. I have been craving watermelon. It's summer and knowing that summer is ending, watermelons aren't gonna be in season anymore. They're not gonna be as good. So I am milking it. I could eat this whole watermelon by myself. But then I feel horrible afterwards because I feel so bloated. I'm just enjoying it thoroughly. Mm. I finished this whole thing of tahini. I don't even know like where to buy it, what section of the store to buy it. Is it in the Mexican section? But Mel bought this and she left it at her house and I told her, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I think I like pretty much ate all of it. I'm gonna have to get a full size one. Where are these questions coming from? Oh, this was from the community tab. A long time ago? Oh, yeah, like a couple months ago or a month ago. I've been just like slowly answering questions. <laughs> okay, so this question is from Dan. He says he's about to become a father soon mm -hmm. and I'm both excited and frightened. Excited to welcome the newest member of our family to the world and give them the best life we possibly can. 
but at the same time, uneasy, uneasy how to make it work. Things have gotten very pricey. Mm -hmm. I'm finishing school in hopes to getting a better career, but we recently had to downsize, downsize our living space since rent got more expensive. Adding a newborn into the mix is going to make things a lot more challenging. I guess my question is, with raising five kids, have you ever, have you, have any of these pressures prior to any of them being born? And how did you overcome them? My advice to any father, especially new fathers, number one, don't take yourself too seriously and don't overthink anything because nobody knows what the kid's going to be like. Everybody has their own circumstance, their own challenges, their own experiences, baggage, strengths, all that kind of stuff. And just go into it with the most optimistic mindset and also know you have to forgive yourself for any mistakes you might make. Secondly, be mentally prepared. That is going to be hard as hell, especially your first one. I remember the first night when Juliana was crying in our apartment. Okay, so we have that neighbors ass. above and below and next to us. Thank God we're at the edge. Of course, we're considering our neighbors and are they staying up because Juliana's crying. I had no idea what I was doing. I remember I was reading a book in the middle of the night. And when I think about, okay, if, what advice would I give that guy that was completely out of his element well i would say be mentally prepared for that and that's why with all the girls even though i feel like i get better as a parent i always have the mindset of okay this is going to be tough i've got to be prepared for the unknown which funny enough curveball bella was the complete <laughs> curveball unknown and that mentality got me through so many hard nights and so it's better i mean just like anything expect it to be hard so that when it is hard it's not as difficult to deal with third thing is don't worry so much about other people and what they think especially neighbors if you're in a space mm, like that a good one. because a lot of people i i'd say literally almost everybody i know is very forgiving very understanding and they don't really uh look at it as a negative they actually think more empathetically and anybody else that doesn't fuck them. that's their problem <laughs> one of my really good friends she started really young i th i don't even know if they're maybe they're like 20 or 21 they always found a, a way to make it work and i remember her saying like i don't even know how we made it work but we did and they have a beautiful house they have three beautiful kids they have great jobs and like they're they're doing they're doing well. Congratulations and I I wish the best for you and your growing family. It's going to be all good. How do you balance being a good parent and still being a good spouse? I I take that as how do you find time to be a good spouse? So, number 1 the kids always come first no matter what when they're really young and that's just the way it is the second part is how much time do you give to your spouse is going to be dependent on that person and how much they really need some people need a lot of attention some people don't need as much attention but you got to give them attention i think just communication is key that's always sure. the answer so the, the book that we read early on was his needs her needs and more important than what the book... Can you hold it? My hand is getting tired. If you didn't have very much time, if literally you had very, very little time, you give them the number one thing that mm -hmm. they need, the priority, you know, you know, aspect of your relationship that they hunger for most. And the third thing I'd say is there's really no excuse to give a little bit of your time, effort, and energy to your significant other if there's only one thing i could do for judy and it's the smallest little thing i'll make her a cup of coffee okay that one cup of coffee 
isn't gonna make or break the day. It's not gonna make Judy's day so much better, especially if there's some stressful things we're dealing with, the kids are giving her a hard time, or it's just hard, right? Like maybe life is hard. But you add up every one of those little coffees, 356 days a year, is this 56, 65? If you add up all those mm -hmm. coffees, 365 days in a year, then all those put together mean so much more than any one cup of coffee or even one big thing that, that you is, do. That's a hundred percent true. <laughs> and so that's just a coffee. I do so many other things for Judy, but if I could only just do that one thing because life was that hard, I know it adds up and it fills a brownie points yeah, bank. So true. I can only speak from experience. Judy does uh, show gratitude and appreciates that I do that, even though sometimes it's like, oh, it's good. And then she moves on with her day. I don't think about, oh, is she gonna give me a huge hug and a kiss because of the coffee? I know though, the effort that it takes to do that every single day for a whole year, maybe for years. I mean, now we're going on two plus years with the espresso machines, I think actually mm -hmm. three years, that that is gonna build a, a certain, you know, uh, gratitude in her. And that's what I would say. What are the small things you can do because the big things are just impossible right now that you do consistently? I'll confess, I haven't done as many like big romantic things like we did in the beginning. But I don't know, would you say those small little things oh, yeah. I do? If Even just hug her, you know, like I hug her and then I, I squeeze her butt cheeks I and then I kiss <laughs> her on the neck and then I, I tell her I love her. I would yeah. take the small things every day versus an extravagant trip or yeah. even like a weekend together because that that's what fills my love bank. The fourth thing that is for me personally, I don't know your life, I don't know your circumstance, I don't know your resources, you know, what kind of network, you know, if you're in the military for example and you're deployed and you're in a foreign land, maybe a different country and you don't have any support, it, it's gonna be tough. I know this, you know, we're very, very blessed. Papa's here right now, sometimes he's with the kids. My mom and dad are very involved. Of course, Melody is helping us with the kids, you know, like full time. But the one thing I do, I make it a goal, is if I do have extra time, uh, beyond working, beyond working out, doing whatever on the house, I don't have personal time for myself, I give it to us. I make sure that we spend time together before I get my own time and I think it's worked out pretty good. Five <laughs> kids later. Yeah. We literally had sex this morning so saying things are pretty good right now because my philosophy is if I have extra time in my life I'm gonna give it to you. Well, I think that's what happens when you marry your best friend naturally. But, but yeah you know what the downside to that is that we don't have a life outside of our family <laughs> but I know I this is this is a problem that I love to have if you could even consider that a problem because we're not these kids aren't gonna be kids forever oh my gosh you're gonna be moving out of the house which makes me sad to think about but uh, that's a whole other conversation <laughs> so yeah right now we are literally each other's lives day and night, weekdays, after hours, weekends, every day. So those few times that we have with our with our friends outside of each other are far and few, but I don't mind it. <laughs> We're gonna call it a night here. Thanks for the questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment. And uh, I don't know, I, t I tell Benji, when we're done vlogging, we can talk about we could do a podcast because we could talk forever, especially this guy. This guy could talk forever. You'd be good for a podcast. Um, I love you. I love you too. Is there something I do every day for you? Because I'm like trying to think of what I do for you. No, you don't really do anything oh. every day, but you're amazing to our girls and you're amazing to me, just generally speaking. <laughs> that is... I'm That's... like, there's not something I do for you every day. But, but the things you do once in a while for me. I try to do stuff for Benji though, but there's he would rather do it himself because he knows he could do things better. 
So like, I remember like trying before, like making you coffee. Mm. Yeah. There's quite a few times, even cooking. But I learned this early on in our relationship when I would I do mean, things for you. You cook a lot of you. things for me that I love. I do. It's gonna sound strange, but you fold my clothes. You know, I'm not a big laundry guy and you fold yeah. all the clothes. There's a lot of things I do that yeah. Judy doesn't, just like there's a lot of things she does that I don't like to do, so. It's yeah, just a balance. Just works. You're gonna get by day to day. That's how I look at it. Like, if I had a shitty day and life seems like it sucks, I'm like, tomorrow could be better. And I sleep for the next day. And then I wake up thinking, okay, I'm gonna work a little harder. I'm gonna try to be better and whatever was in the past was in the past and yeah. today yeah, i mean that's good that's good you are a very optimistic person never drown in your sorrows that will never ever do you any yeah. good okay night night good night <laughs> see you tomorrow